Hello everyone. How's things? Okay, so um, I've got another discussion for you tonight. I'm going to start with a question. Um, it's probably a question you've asked yourself a lot, especially for a musician or um, aspiring artist, etc, etc. Uh, should you give up your day job? Uh, another corollary question to that. When should you give up your day job? And, uh, and I know it starts to get a bit, um, a bit complicated. I mean, you know, because like, you, you know, you're playing away at home and you're thinking... Context of playing at home, you know, you get carried away. And you think, yeah, it's something, something quite nice. Um, but then it's sort of like, you know, getting out there, and um, you know, is is that going to be enough to um, is that going to be enough to sustain you? You know, especially if you're doing, if, you know, especially like if 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 you if you if your day job is sort of like, you know, it's paying the rent and um, or mortgage or whatever. Uh, if you're running a car, there's all that to think about. If you're married with a family, there's all that to think about. Um, you know, sort of clothes, etc. You know, new gear. Um, so, so there's two ways of looking at this. Um, you know, the first one, obviously, you know, like, you know, why, why going, why go to work? That's another question. Then, anyway, you know, what? what uh, obviously, you go to work, so you, so you can afford all these things, you know, and uh, and you start to get sort of quite comfortable, and um, you know, the, you know, um, the end of the month is, you know, the check comes in, um, or you know, you, you, you just check it, you know, on in your your bank balance, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, I've been paid. Oh great, yeah, and uh, you know. And then you you know you pay off your credit card or or whatever, and so it goes on. Um, but then it sort of starts to you know you're in the job for a while and you realise well maybe okay maybe I'm growing out of this now. But what am I going to do instead? You know I, I, mean, I love playing guitar or I love you know whatever it is you, you want to do, and you're thinking um, I'm not spending enough time doing it. And then something comes along at work, and it sort of like it's it throws a curveball at you, and you you know that the, the nature of the job changes. You know, you get a different manager in, or the team you're working with changes, or um, something that's happened to us. I mean, this is you know, as you can tell, it's probably quite a personal video. It's um, you know, they, they float this idea of uh, right. Well, um, we've tried um, working from home once a week. We're going to move to work from home uh, five days a week, um, which means we're going to we're, we're not going to be renting this building anymore. Um, basically, it's all going to be all all uh, work from home, and um, you know we're going to keep some of the other other offices open, but um, but all the communications between us it's going to be via Teams. Um, so you, you have to sort yourself out, you know. And then it starts, you know, you start questioning, you know, well, you know, you're waiting for that chance to move on, and, and you're thinking, well, is it ever going to come, you know? And then you start second guessing yourself, and you start thinking, well, maybe all this is just like a delusion. Maybe, you know, like the yeah, you know, you've got a YouTube channel, the numbers start going up, the hovering a bit. Sometimes it might go down a little bit. Um, but you know the numbers start doing quite well, and you think oh, I could make a go of that. But then, at what point do you, you know, do you think, yeah, it's time to make a go of it, time to push forward? Um, but meanwhile, all this is still weighing on your mind about, you know, this day job. You know, you've, you've got responsibility; you can't just leave. And then, of course, you know, because you're trying to juggle the two, um, you're finding that both start to suffer. That you're not practicing as much as as you used to do. You know, um, or at work-wise, your enthusiasm is not quite there. Your, your temper starts fraying a bit more. Um, you know, you're not as um, you're not as engaged with the job as, as perhaps you used to be, and it starts to show. And um, and of course, you know, the company's all target-driven and everything, aren't they? 
which is why they're trying to save money and uh, and then you, you then you up you know so it's a, it's all starts so it all starts to pile on and pile on and pile on and then this or whatever it is you want to do gets pushed further and further down and um, and then like I say you know you you think you start questioning it you're second guessing you're thinking well is this just illusion nice hobby to have but you know and um, you know you're thinking about things like um, you know what what warrants being a success you know especially as a musician you know um, is it sort of selling out sort of four or five nights at Wembley Stadium or is it just you know just actually just making a, a reasonable living you know like sort of over you know a range of things you know like gigs and teaching perhaps YouTube maybe um, etc et you know so there's a lot there's a lot to think about in that way but then there's coming at it the other angle as well you know it's like um, if you're serious about what you want to do then surely the day job's just like an enabler you know that gives you money so you can buy new gear or um, you know, get like the various books and um, you know, go on, go on courses and things. You know, so um, is it starting to gel together? I, th I think we're getting somewhere now. Um, just a slight little tangent, but it is relevant. I mean, I've sort of like I quite often been having like two reoccurring dreams. I don't know if you if you have anything similar, but um, in the first one. I'm in a strange town or a city, and I sort of vaguely know a way, my way round, um, but not really. And I know I have to be somewhere, but I'm surrounded by all this really interesting stuff. You know, like this, the architecture is fascinating. There's all these wonderful shops. There's all these, you know, like people and stuff like that. Got you know, walking and and, um, and so part of me like wants to look round all this interesting stuff that's going on. And the other part of me is kind of like, oh well, I can't really do that because I've got to, I've got to be at, at such a place, you know, I, I, wherever it is in this dream I'm trying to get to, you know, and then and then of course this dream sort of you know ends up changing into into something else depending on what's what's being on my mind at that time. So that's like one one of the dreams. And another one is um, like being back at like school or university or, or college um, I know I'm enrolled on a course somewhere because I'm planning on you know, like improving myself um, for whatever reason but the class I'm taking um, the teacher I've got is really pushy and he's loading everybody down with assignments but you've got so much other stuff going on that you're thinking, well, I'll never, I'm never going to get these assignments done. There's so much to do. Where do I even start? So you then you start cutting corners, and then you get this big backlog of um, assignments, which, in some ways, you know, you need them to pass your course. But in other ways, you haven't actually even looked at them yet, and you don't, you know, you, you don't quite know where you're up to. So you're kind of getting that sort of out of your depth feeling. But then in, in in this dream that I have, because um, because you know I'm back starting this course wherever it is, um, I've also got like new accommodation somewhere, you know, it's, and it's nearly always like student accommodation. You know, we don't know what it's like where you are, but um, so then I'm frantically look trying to remember where my accommodation is, and um, you know, tr trying to trying to find it, and then and then even when I do find it, then. I realised that um, you know I haven't got my own space anymore because like suddenly there's this mysterious door which I hadn't thought of where somebody else comes in, you know. Um, so it's sort of like you're, you're almost you know like, almost like losing a sense of privacy or a sense of dignity or, or whatever. So I kind of think these things are related. I mean, you know, I said I was going off slightly as a tangent, but I think you know psychologically, I think they are they are related. You know, the one about the you know, being in a strange town or the city. I mean, I think, I think that talks about, you know, like, when there's a lot of change going on in your life, especially in, in my life, you know, that the things I've been fixated on, whatever they are, are starting to pale 
alongside the new things which are coming into my life, you know, the things I've been learning about or experiencing. That, you know, the sense of, um, the sense of like, well, belonging, direction, um, I think direction, interesting question when you, when you face a dream like that, but, but that's certainly that sense of perspective. The things you, the things you hold as being important, that they're shifting in comparison to all this new information that's coming in. I think that's, I think that's important because that's the time when you, you know, it really should be starting to take, you know, take a bit of time out and then start questioning the bigger picture. And then the second one about, um, you know, being at like a university or college. I mean, part of that comes, you know, from doing that um, summer school course at the at the Guildhall um, last week. I'm not sure when this is going to go out, but um, recently anyway. Um, because in the past, I mean, like if you've seen, you know, the, the, the video series I did about, you know, the summer school I did two years ago, I was talking about cutting classes and so some of that's coming in there because this time around I didn't cut the classes and even though I didn't have as even though I didn't have as much time for self-directed practice this time around in the classes that I I didn't cut and I actually attended they were starting to get into some of the more tricky things you know like the chord inversions and um, things like that Joe Pass style of like um, you know accompanying yourself playing the chords to to tunes or playing playing chords instinctively to tunes or pitching notes and playing them or um, playing in, in odd keys you know that you're not used to say like you're know, playing an A flat early A flat which is the same as which is the same as F minor but if you don't know that, then it's not that obvious, you know. And um, so, you know, it's, it's things like that. So when you finally start to engage with stuff that you've been missing, then you realise that maybe it's not that hard. It's just you're neglecting it for a while, you know. But if you're neglecting it, why are you neglecting it? And it's perhaps to do with, um, you know, the time. You know, that you haven't had enough time to assimilate this stuff. You're sort of like, yeah, 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 I kind of know it. But like what it's like it's like one actually one of the tutors um, said this. It was um, Winston, who was like the uh, one of the percussion tutors, a really good tutor that that guy. And someone who was kind of you know sort of mucking around during the class, and he was you know and, he, and Winston was trying to tell him something, and the and the lad was going yeah 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 I know I know, and then he turned around to him and he says well you may very well say yeah 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 I know, I know that. But if you're not actually engaging with what's going on at the time, you're gonna you're not gonna be able to pay attention when it starts getting more tricky because you're not picking up the basics. If, if you know what I mean. So what this is really saying is um, it's a matter of priority. Um, you know, yes, it, it, obviously, if, if you've got to go to work and, um, you know, you've, you've got to pay the bills, etc., etc., then that's that's a higher priority than sitting down, um, learning learning um, Joe Pass style of playing or scales in odd shapes, you know, odd, odd positions, not shapes. Yeah, learning scales in, in, odd, um, in odd keys, etc. Um... But if you want to be serious about your, your music, then at some point you're going to have to engage with these things. In which case, the day job, you've got to remember it's an, ena it's an enabler to help you to do what you want to do, not the other way around. It's not kind of like, oh, I do my day job and then this is kind of shoehorned in, in at the end of the day. It's, it's, it's a, it should be a matter of... Um, this should take top priority because uh, if I want to consider my, myself a musician, then this is this is what I do. Otherwise, it's I end up stuck in the whatever job it is I'm doing, and um, and this is just you know taking taking a back seat, or I may even find coming home some days just too tired to even just just pick up a guitar, you know, um, or 
or read about um, you know like chord inversions or or whatever um, and we're starting to make some sense um, and I mean I, I used to um, I mean quite often I don't know if I used to I mean I, I quite often I follow some of these life coaches and it, there used to be a girl called um, a Amy Young she used to post um, and she, you know, she used to do these things called Freestyle Friday, where she'd just sit there and just talk to the camera. A bit similar to this. To this. I mean, I kind of stole her format, actually. Um, but in one of those, she was also talking about like, the day job, you know, like this conflict between doing the day job and doing the thing that which you love doing, which you really want to pursue. And she, was, she came up with this line, um, it doesn't have to be a level 10 terrible for you to want to leave. You know, because when it's level 10 terrible, it's probably too late. You know, that, that's kind of what she was saying. Um, so that's one one takeaway thing. Another one was um, another slight tangent. Um, it was one of those actor studios, you know, because, I mean, I've always sort of been fascinated by actors and their crafts. And one of these, one of these was an interview with Peter Falk, you know, Colombo, you know, just one more thing. So, you know, Peter Falk. That when he was um, when he was younger, uh, you know, he came from you know like hardworking Catholic family, etc., etc., and his and his parents were kind of oh, you got to get a good solid job, you know, you can be an actor in your, in your spare time and blah 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 blah. Well, it got to the point where he was working like as, as an admin as, assistant, and then there was this actors workshop. I forget the name of it. And it was something like an, an hour and a half's drive for him at the end of a, like a busy working day. And it just so happened that like one one working day, um, he was he had to work late or something like that, um, or he'd been kept late behind at the office for whatever reason, or there was traffic jam on the on, on one of the roads, or call it freeway, not motorway. But I think you get the idea. You know? So he was late. He, he showed up late to this class, and the tutors there. And uh, I forget the name of her, but she was some sort of quite well-known act acting um, tutor. And she just turned around to him and says, um, Peter, do you want to be an admin assistant or do you want to be an actor? Because I think you should be an actor. And if you want to be an actor, sit down. So then he had to make a choice between you know, having this sort of fairly comfortable lifestyle as an admin assistant in some office somewhere with all the stresses and strains about, that that entails, or just giving that up on on the whim that this thing might come off. Now, when I say whim, I mean obviously Peter Falk is a very talented actor. So he, so then he did actually he, he chose he, he sat down and he joined the class and and he, from then on he made that decision that that's what he was going to do, and then within twelve months he he won his first Emmy award. Now. Well, I'm not saying you're going to win your first Emmy Award in 12 months, but I think sometimes, you know, having this serious conversation, you know, it, it's worth having, you know. Um, the, all that stuff that you, you know, all that day job stuff, which, which weighs you down, is it really worth it, you know? Um, and all the, um, all the stress of learning, you know, stuff like, you know, like, court inversions and scales etc you know is that is that worth you know a bit more sacrifice you know than than having to put up with like um, a day job and traffic jams and um you know i suppose it's your factory you know getting the train and things like that you know like trains being late and whatnot you know um so either way i mean I'm, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to try and wind this down now. Um, I know there's going to, you know, there's, there's, there's compromise on both sides. You know, there's, there's give and take on both sides. But it still comes down to that question. What do you actually want? You know, um, do you want to be a musician and pursue it? Or do you want to be, like, stuck in, like, you know, the office job um, where, you know, you... You're not necessarily the high flyer, and um, you know you might make team leader, but you're getting on a bit now, and so they're more likely to promote you know like some young twenty year old into the 
team leader role instead. You know, um, of course, you, you may be a young twenty-year-old watching this, in which case I, I do apologise. And uh, you know, but um, you know, I just just want to, yeah. I, I mean, I, I know this is probably getting a bit a bit tough now, but um, but we you know we've we've got to have this conversation. You know, you know. Which you know, is this more important than than that? You know, because at least with this, you know, um, it's just about learning and and growing. And um, you know, um, with the with the right with the right kind of strategy, um, you could you could, I suppose you could you could make a a reasonable you could make a reasonable fist of this. You know, and, and actually. Perhaps even you know, perhaps even make some money from it. You know, I mean, and I was having a, I have, I'm having a similar conversation with some of the tutors on on the course as well. You know, as I was saying, you know, like one of, one of the um, one of the harmony teachers was uh, was Jason Jason Ribello, and and I I had this conversation with him, and he was asking, you know, he, we were just having a catch up, and he was saying, so what are you up to musically? And I wasn't saying, well, well, I've not been doing that much recently. You know, when I told him about being ill last year, you know, like with the blood pressure and everything. And, um, and and I was saying, well, you know, how how do you manage, you know, like the day job with with what you do? And then, he, of course, he turned around and he said, well, this is my day job, which is great for him to say, but it doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily help you straight away. Um, even though a couple of the other tutors were saying, well, why don't you think about doing um, doing like a like a, a full time music course? You know, like doing like um, you know, maybe maybe doing like a, you know, like some sort of like like a like a foundation degree or a, you know, like a master's degree or, you know, something like that. You know, just just like a, like a like a, a full time course, you know, where where you're just focusing on music, you know, for, you know, about a year or so, and and then you you know, that all the other things are just secondary to this. I, I don't know. I mean, um, so. Please let me know your thoughts. You know, I mean, if you've actually done it, if you've actually just taken that step and just decided, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this day job anymore. It's boring. Um, it's a waste of, it's a waste of my energy. Yeah, you know, if you have, if you have actually made a made a go of it, you know, please let me know. And um, as always, thanks for watching. I'm really grateful for you all. And um, please consider, please consider subscribing. It's difficult to say that. Um, and I'll see you next time. All right. Thanks for watching.